Hello! It's nice to be with you again. Hope you're having uh, some good days in your house. Uh, I miss you guys. Um, I miss seeing you. I miss having my classes with you. And I want you to, to stay on top of your English. I, we want to keep making progress in what we've been studying and in what we have been learning. And one thing that that, that's really important in English is, is the story. You know, to tell a story in English, it's, a, it's an important element of communication, is the story, okay? And so today I want to review the story, a story with, you, with, with, with the class. Uh, we, we are going to be going picture by picture. To, to review the story, we'll talk about the, the vocabulary, we'll talk about the grammar, and in the end, uh, your assignment is to, is to write the story, okay? Your assignment is to write the story. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to show you the, the picture here. What we have is we have five pictures, okay? One, two, three, four, and five. Okay? Now, we are going to review the pictures. You know, I went, when you write the story, it's in the first picture, I see da 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 But we can go better than that. We can say what is happening in, in the picture. Okay? So we want to talk about what is in the picture, what it contains, and what is happening in the picture. Um, when we talk about what is happening in the picture, we use present continuous. Okay. Um, when we use when we talk about what is in the picture, the objects in the picture, we'll just use present simple. Okay. Um, so obviously, what they're doing, present continuous. What's there, present simple. Um, so let's look at picture number one first. In picture number one, what do we see? No? What do we see? We, well, we see, uh, where are they? No? They are in the living room. No? Uh, what do we see? We see a TV, a sofa, a clock, some school supplies, a scissors, glue, and also we see a boy and a girl. Okay, so you point a girl. We can give them names. Uh, you can give them whatever name you want. You can say the boy is Billy and the girl is Sue, for example. Uh, but you can you can give them whatever name you want. What are they doing? Well, the the girl she's coloring a picture. No, she's coloring a picture. What kind of a picture? She's coloring a house. No. And what is the boy doing? Well, the boy is doing his, his maths homework. Now, then we go to the, the next picture, and we have more or less the same objects. They're still in the living room. Um, but now it's changed. No, now instead of both children working at the table, the boy, he's watching TV. And the girl, instead of coloring her picture, well, she forgot her picture, and now she's coloring flowers, or drawing flowers, on the boy's homework, on his math's homework. Hmm, I think that that could be a problem, no? Anyway, she's very happy, and he's too busy watching uh, football, no? So, in the third picture, we have the boy, he's still watching football. Um, but now the girl, she's on a chair and she's reaching for her scissors and the glue. And, 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 and she's going getting that. I wonder what's, what it's for. What it's for? No. And then we go to picture four. In here, she is, the boy is still watching TV, no? He's, must be an exciting football game. 
And the girl, well, she cut out the flowers that she drew on her brother's, I assume it's her brother's, homework. And she is going to glue them on the grass. You know? And uh, in, <laughs> in the fifth picture, uh, we have a very happy little girl. Uh, she is showing the picture with the flowers. And she's very proud of her work. And we have a very angry boy who, who has the flowers cut out of his math's homework, you know? And uh, obviously the TV is now off, you know? It's interesting to see the different times, you know? What are the different times on, on the clock? When you look at the clock in the first picture, the clock is seven o'clock. In the second picture, it's quarter past seven. In the third picture, it's half past seven. In the fourth picture, it's a quarter to eight. And in the last picture, it's eight o'clock. So everything is happening within uh, one hour time. Okay? So that's, that's the overview of the story. Now, for the vocabulary, uh, I'm going to write the vocabulary down, and I, you can use the vocabulary when you write the story for me. Okay? And so, when we look at the vocabulary in the, in the first picture, uh, the vocabulary would include where they are. Where are they? They're in the, in the living room, no? So, in the living room, okay? And other vocabulary is what are they doing? No, she is coloring, she is coloring her, her picture, and he is doing homework. Uh, they are sitting at a table, no, they're sitting at a table, that, that's good vocabulary. Sitting at, it's a good preposition, at a table. And what else? Uh, she's coloring the picture. He's doing math homework. Then we can go to the next picture. What's the vocabulary? What's he doing? What's the boy doing? The boy is watching, watching TV. He's watching TV. Uh, what is the girl doing? She's drawing and coloring flowers. Okay, drawing and coloring flowers. Um, we can also say, you know, that they're busy. You know, we, what, what could we say about the football game? Well, in picture three, we could say the football game is very exciting, right? Because the, the boy isn't paying attention to his sister, so the football game is very exciting. Uh, we can say the girl standing on a chair, that's vocabulary, um, she's getting school supplies, scissors, glue, no, we can, we can even say what she's using at the table, she's using colors, crayons, markers, um, in picture four, vocabulary would be cutting, no, she's cutting, 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 you know, cutting, cutting. And gluing, she's gluing the flowers onto the, 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 the grass. You know? And then vocabulary that we could use for, for how they feel. You know? Like, she's very busy, but she's, she's happy um, in, in picture five. The girl is very excited. The boy is very angry. No, he's very angry because his homework is destroyed. Okay? 
What I want you to do with this, with this assignment is I want you to look at these pictures. I want you to look at the pictures and I want you to write the story. Okay? I want you to write the story for picture one, picture two, picture three, picture four, and picture five. Okay? So for each picture, I want you to write a good paragraph and tell me the entire story. Okay? And I want you to write it and put it in the, in the comment section of, of this YouTube video so I can see it and read it. Okay? That's what I want you to do. Okay? So I want you to take the vocabulary that I reviewed. Okay? Use the grammar present simple present continuous, but I want you to write the story, okay, in the comments of my video, okay? So, thank you. I will, I will keep an eye on your comments. When I, see, when I see what you wrote, I will comment on it and give you maybe some pointers and uh, encourage you when I can, okay? I hope you're doing well and I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.